Welcome to my channel. Unlocking the mysteries of Aluru, Ayers Rock's ancient secrets. Start your journey from Alice Springs, which is approximately 450 kilometers to 180 miles northeast of ULURU. Drive to Kings Canyon. Located in Watarka National Park, about 320 kilometers to 100 miles southwest of Alice Springs. On the way to Uluru, explore the stunning Kings Canyon, known for its towering sandstone walls, impressive hiking trails, and breathtaking views. Stay overnight at Kings Canyon Resort or camp at the nearby campgrounds. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a massive sandstone formation located in the heart of Australia's Red Centre. Please note that this is just one possible itinerary, and you can adjust it based on your preferences and the time you have available. Additionally, it's essential to check the current road conditions, weather forecasts, and any travel restrictions or requirements before embarking on your road trip. The roads to Uluru are generally in good condition and suitable for regular vehicles and campervans. The main routes include the Stewart Highway and the Lassiter Highway, both of which are sealed and well maintained. These highways provide a comfortable driving experience, although the Lassiter Highway is more remote with limited services. The specific shape of Uluru, with its vertical walls and rounded contours, is a result of both physical and chemical weathering processes. Wine erosion, caused by strong prevailing winds in the area, has played a significant role in shaping the rock by gradually wearing away the softer layers of sandstone. The process of water erosion, primarily through occasional heavy rainfall, has also contributed to the formation of gorges and other features around Uluru. While the exact time frame for the complete erosion of Uluru is uncertain, it is a gradual and ongoing process. The current shape of Uluru is the result of several years of natural forces at work, creating one of Australia's most iconic landmarks. Can you guess how many years it took for the wind and weather to erode Uluru to its current shape? The formation of Uluru began around many years ago during the Paleoproterozoic era at that time. The area was covered by an inland sea known as the Amadeus Basin. Sediments, including sand, silt, and clay, were deposited at the bottom of the sea. Over the years, the sediment layers underwent compaction and cementation, transforming them into sedimentary rocks. The sand, in particular, became compressed and hardened to form a type of rock called Arcos, which is rich in feldspar. Many years ago, tectonic forces caused the region to uplift, exposing the sedimentary rocks to the surface as the land rose. The overlying layers of rock were gradually eroded away, exposing the underlying sandstone. Since its exposure, Uluru has been subjected to various weathering processes that have shaped its current form, physical weathering, such as the expansion and contraction of rock due to temperature changes and the action of wind have contributed to the erosion of the softer layers of sandstone. Chemical weathering, including the dissolution of minerals by water, has also played a role. The final shape of Uluru, characterized by its steep, vertical walls and rounded contours, is the result of many of years of erosion. The rock stands as a monolith, with a height of approximately 348 meters 1140 to feet above the surrounding plain. It's important to note that Aluru holds significant cultural and spiritual importance to the local Anangu people, who have inhabited the area for tens of thousands of years. They have their own creation stories and cultural significance associated with the formation of Uluru, which are integral to their heritage and traditions.
The iconic sandstone monolith from Yulu is the main attraction. Its changing colors at sunrise and sunset are a mesmerizing sight. You can take a walk around the base to appreciate its sheer size and admire the intricate rock formations.